Hello everyone. Welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So I'm going to be doing a walk in the garden. There's some things that are doing great and there's some things that are kind of just falling off. But you guys, the weather is coming. The weather is coming. So I really wanted to come on and talk to you guys about that. Um, the weather is going to drop very, very quickly in about, I think, Monday or so. Please just check your weather, you guys. It might be different in your area. The weather is going to be dropping down to 35 degrees here. Um, I am in zone 8A, North Carolina, and the zone is about to drop. We're about to get really, really cold, guys. Okay, so pay attention to the weather. We might have to go ahead and break out some plastic or some type of tarp or something like that to you guys to protect our plants from getting damaged um, or stunted, okay? Especially if you just planted your plants, um, we don't want them to get stunted as well because that is definitely what will happen because the temperature is being so warm and dropping so low. Definitely cover your plants. I have videos on how to cover your plants. I cover them some with pots. It just try to find anything that you can, you guys, in your home or in your garden that you're not using to go ahead and keep your plants warm. Because believe me or not, believe it or not, you guys, it is going to definitely get cold, okay? So here is our radishes, you guys, we planted. They're doing so, so good. Um, I'm really happy that this time around, they are actually a success. Now, I did have to go ahead and replant of the this one side right here you guys I missed watering okay I didn't water that great so it did uh, not make it but that whole entire row you guys didn't make it dried right on out so I had to go and replant them thank goodness they were radishes right they're quick they're quick growing and quick um, a quick turnaround so I'm really happy with that I just noticed I just noticed you guys Look at the bird nest in there. I keep it right there. It comes back, the baby comes back every year. A bird comes back in that, that nest every year. Um, this right here is my peach trees. I have this one and I have one down here. You guys, I'm really considering taking all of my fruit trees out of the containers, um, cutting them back and putting them in the ground. And whatever we decide to move, I'm just gonna go ahead and graph um, some cuttings because I feel like the last time that we had a major cold snap you guys it did damage a lot of our fruit trees and they just didn't they didn't bounce back from that arctic freeze okay um, over here you guys is our <clears throat> you guys I kind of want to get hoarse for some reason um, so but right here is our mint I have here and they're doing really well um, I just watered and then down here, I have nothing in this bed, you guys. Believe it or not, I have not planted it. I'm so shocked that I, there's actually containers that I haven't put a plant in. I'm really, really shocked that I didn't, um, but that's okay. I do have plants, so I could put it in there. I just haven't got around to doing it, you guys. Um, so over here by the chickens. Hey, girls. So my girls, I have, you know, every time I come by my girls, I have to tell my girls hello. Um, but this right here, this three-tier bed is growing nicely. I showed you guys me planting that up. And I mean, look at look at the growth. Um, it's really coming along really good. And then over here, I still have some plants I would have to go to plant in uh, this raised bed. Now, if you guys want to know what type of raised beds that I do have. Now this bed over here is by Ollie Raised Beds. And then this one over here is by Vegiga. Um, and I do like all the different styles of beds. I actually been looking into maybe popping in a round one right here. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think it would be really nice, a little round, uh, another round one right here on the end i think they were running like 35 for two you guys at this time i'm not sure i think it was 35 or 38 one of the two but um i gotta go i think i got, got it in my amazon cart you guys i got it in my amazon cart um but over here you guys is our lettuce wall i don't think y'all guys see how big this wall is this is a massive project you guys um it is doing really good. Um, I had to pop in a couple more. I see a couple of them didn't live, like uh, this one right here. But all in all, you guys, this wall is doing really good. I mean, look how much food, you guys. 
is on this wall. Oh my goodness, right? So for a family, oh my gosh, you can feed so many people, you guys, and share with family and friends with this massive wall unit. Now this is two units put together. Um, yeah, this is two units put together. And you guys, I ran into a great deal when I got these, you guys, for $5 a pop. So I'm really happy. This is coming along beautifully as well as the radishes are. All right, so let's go to the back garden where I have not gotten around to taming it, okay? So over here in the back garden, here is the back garden, okay? It looks great, right? But guys, I have not tied these peas like I was supposed to. Uh, the peas are just falling over. I really just need to just, it's as simple as me going out there, you guys, and getting some string and tying them. But, Lazy y'all, being lazy, don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I, I just, I just haven't gotten around to it. But I have gotten around to other projects along here. But I just want to really get this, this fencing tighter. So I, that's why I haven't even got a chance to get to these peas. But the peas is doing really good. Look at all of these are the cauliflower. The elephant garlic is along the bed. So you guys can see them here. They are doing really good. And um, back here is just regular green snow peas. And um, up front, we have different varieties. Then I popped in, you guys, some, oh, some cilantro right here, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. This is cilantro right here. And then I popped in my randoms, you guys, into these containers. Um, I see that this one did not make it, you guys. See right here. So this was a random plant that I had left somewhere and um, it dried out and it literally finished itself off. And then over here is the back garden and everything over here is doing good. So this is the side that I got clean <laughs> and this is a side that I didn't get to. So I really need to get to this and get everything kind of like uh, squared away by tying everything up and getting the plastic ready for this uh, Arctic freeze that is coming very, very soon. But all of this, you guys, is our broccoli. Oh, look how beautiful this Swiss chart is, you guys. That color is just everything, right? That color is everything. I, I am in love with that one, okay? And then let's go this way, you guys. My roses, I gotta come out here and get these. I need to come out and get these. I might do this today. Me and my daughter might come out and harvest the roses so that I could um, dehydrate those. Okay, I put them in my soap. I make tea, things like that. So definitely that. And then the windstorm, that last windstorm, I still got to tie this. This this tree. This is a this is my apple tree right here so i have an apple a plum an apple and this plum had died you guys it was doing so good and then it died and i had some kind of fire blight or something like that and that one died still haven't got around to this one yeah anyways <laughs> still didn't get around to that the greenhouse is doing lovely you guys oh here's the plants you guys I planted in the video. You guys see them. They're doing good. I had to take that one down. It was getting too big. It was actually shadowing the sun from this one. So I had to take it and put it down. And I popped in another pot. This one's empty. And then, oh, the containers are filling in as well. Then all of the beds here. You know what? I actually haven't even showed you guys what is going on in the sand pit. A lot is going on, you guys. It's a lot going on. I even got a great deal of plants that I need to actually go ahead and plant up. But I can show you guys that in another video. Hopefully I can get it done before it gets really cold. Maybe I just go ahead and up pot them so I can just transfer them into a bigger hole and they won't get shocked um, since the cold is coming. But I definitely need to come and get this baby right here um i need to pick this one 
so this right here is that daikon radish here and i'm thinking i need to go ahead and get it it's getting kind of getting kind of big so i do have one more left and i did go ahead and start some more you guys <clears throat> i'm losing my voice that's weird i was fine this morning until i came on camera <laughs> And now my voice wants to go. I don't know. But anywho. <laughs> Alright, so this is the daikon radish. We're gonna go ahead and pull this one up, you guys. He's wonky too. He's funny looking. Look at that. See right here. Yeah. They can actually get even bigger, but I kinda not want mine to get too much more bigger. But this is a big one. It's really nice. It's crossing his legs. Check me out, honeys. Check me out. Swaying my hair. Uh, uh, uh. But anyways, <laughs> but this right here is the beautiful daikon radish. Now I do have all of this, you guys, that is growing. And some of it will be needing to be harvested very soon. Now I did have a comment about uh, uh, jarring or pickling. I never did that, you guys. I've always like either dehydrated, um, but I never, I never thought about pickling uh, my radish. I never thought about that, but I, I have been looking into it to pickling the radish. But this is, you guys, is a quick walkthrough. I got a lot more to show you guys. But I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to be heading off. But here's the other peas too, right here. This is two different varieties. One is like I think a blue or yellow or pink and blue. One of the two uh, varieties that I have here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification, you guys, so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And like I always tell you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, you guys. Have a beautiful and blessed day.